As more Canadians become eligible for a COVID-19 vaccine, many are jumping at their chance to get in line for a shot. But others aren't so sure. I sit down with Jean-Christophe Boucher, who has been analyzing social media data for trends around the COVID vaccine to understand more about what's making people uncertain and who's most likely to hold off. So first question, what are the factors at play when it comes to vaccine hesitancy? The COVID-19 pandemic actually overlapped on, on a depolarization that we're seeing across North America, but also in democracies around the world. And, um, and, and much of the crisis basically kind of took hold on the kind uh, of this kind of polarization. So one of the, tr like one of the strongest predictor now of, of vaccine hesitancy is actually mistrust in institutions. Mistrust in institution is, is really almost like 50 to 60% uh, of what drives people's perception of the vaccine. And then like another 20% is actually vaccine safety. People are afraid of the vaccine, especially you know, with the AstraZeneca uh, problems. There, there has been um, misstep from health authorities uh, in communicating, you know, what to do with vaccination, and that actually kind of increased, you know, resistance to vaccination, and that's pretty much it. Much of the conversation, much of the of the fears, much of the anger and concern that we're seeing in in, in vaccine hesitancy space, in, in space is really a political question more so than a question about vaccine. Have you noticed any differences between age groups or demographics? Two things. First, usually younger um, Canadians are more hesitant to get vaccinated. They don't see the point. Um, and, and usually young males are more hesitant than other um, Canadians. In the grand scheme of things, something like 21% of young males are saying that they're not going to get vaccinated or they don't think they're going to get vaccinated which is a significant proportion of, 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 of Canadians. Um, lastly, what we find is that conservative voters have it on average are, are less likely to want to get vaccinated than, uh, than, than voters of the liberal or NDP. So there's like a strong connection between, between political affiliation and, um, and the decision to get vaccinated. And it, and that links back to the kind of argument about trust in institution right now, uh, you know, what we're seeing in the data, for example, is that a lot of people, you know, blame the Trudeau government for imposing measures and, and kind of making making a crisis out of nothing. And, and much the criticism we see is really on, on the notion that governments are using the crisis as a way to curtail freedom. Was there anything that surprised you doing this research? How much social trust and political trust was part of the equation? In the grand scheme of things, I kind of underestimated how much all of this is really a political problem and that COVID-19 is not really a health issue, is it's really a political issue and how to get out of this will need, you know, political solution. If you'd like to check out the full interview, you can head to the website at the bottom of your screen. In Calgary, Joe Horwood, City News.